Hopkinton High School started a TV club this year. The club is ran by HCAM station manager Jim Cousins. One of the projects the TV club is taking part in is a five-minute high school news broadcast that will be shown on Thursdays every other week. Hello, Hopkinton High School. I'm Chris Pomeroy, and welcome to HHS Today. Believe it or not, the annual town meeting is less than three months away, and now is the time to submit articles. If there is something you want to submit, you could submit the article until March 2nd. The draft of the article can be submitted to the Selectman's office or by email to mglynn at hopkintonma.gov. It will be reviewed and translated to legal language by town council. Petition papers may be obtained and submitted at the town clerk's office during normal business hours. Most people probably already know, but an organization called SafeWise confirmed that the town of Hopkinton is one of the safest in the state. The organization ranked Hopkinton fourth on their top 20 list behind Wayland, Norfolk, and Boxford. Hopkinton was ranked as having less than one in 1,000 residents be involved in a violent crime and only just above two out of a thousand in a property crime. A few Hopkinton residents have announced their candidacy for Board of Selectmen. So far, the candidates include the current constable, Michael Yumina, current chair of the Hopkinton Youth Commission, Margie Wiggin, and three-term planning board member, Claire Wright. Below, you can see some positions candidates are needed for, including Board of Assessors, Board of Health, and two are needed for the planning board, as well as someone for town moderator, Stay up to date with the election by checking out our website, hcam.tv. Hillers Swimming got yet another big win this weekend as they took the victory in the TVL Conference, and Hillers Girls Track and Field took home the TVL Championship. The girls finished the regular season 8-0 and and will be competing on in the postseason. Two multi-sport Hopkinton Hillers signed national letters of intent to play in college. Nick Canal signed a national letter of intent to play football in the Ivy League at Cornell University out of Ithaca, New York, while state wrestling champion, multi-sport athlete Josh Sokol signed up to man the trenches over at Sacred Heart University, a Division I school out of Fairfield, Connecticut, out of the Northeast Conference. I started playing football as a freshman here at Hopkinton, and um, it was an awesome experience. It's a great program. 